CapCut is finally available for PC, Mac, and Chromebook, and I'm gonna show you how to get started editing with this software. Just go to the search bar and type in CapCut.com, it'll come up right away, and then just click Get Started for Free. Now to be clear, this is a web-based software, so you don't need to download anything, you don't need any special specs to use this, it all works from the web browser, all the power is happening through there, so you don't need a fast computer to start using this. So to get started, let's click the upload button and add some videos to our media section. Now, once you add your video to the media section, it'll just take a few seconds for the video to upload to CapCut because this is web-based, and then we can start editing. All right, so that video finally finished uploading. If we ever needed to do more, we could just click this upload section and add more videos and photos. But all we have to do is click this plus button, and it adds it right to our timeline down here. This is called a playhead. You can kind of scroll with it, and you can kind of scroll through your video and take a look at each individual part. There is also this zoom option over here. So if we wanna do a very specific edit, we can zoom in like so. And what we can also do is you can use the directional arrows on your keyboard and you can very slowly move something. So if you need to get something very precise to happen at a very specific point, you can use the arrows there to kind of move very carefully through the timeline and make changes. If you want to rearrange your clips, all you have to do is just hold down on the clip with the mouse and you can kind of drag it right over and let it go and that'll allow you to rearrange your clips. If you want to delete a video, you can either click the trash can here, otherwise you can click the delete button physically on your keyboard. And then there is also a back button that you can use if you want to reverse a mistake. Uh, for me on a Mac, it's Command Z and it's telling me that key there. And I can click the back button and poof, now that video is back in our timeline. Now let's get into trimming your video clips. All you have to do is click on the video and you'll notice that there's this really thick white bar on the edge. When you hover over it, it turns your mouse into this, you know, arrow, arrow, and that big line. That allows us, what we can do is hold our finger down and drag our clip, and we can move it and trim it to however we want. Now, I think the easier way, which I'm actually just gonna click the back button, is to do this and wait for right then when I'm about to start talking, and I'm gonna click the arrows on my keyboard right to where I'm about to speak. And then what I can do is click this split button or command B. And what that's going to do is split the clip. And I now have this, the clip here where I'm gonna start talking. And all I have to do is just delete this last piece there. So now when I click play, my video is gonna start right away with the audio. And I can do the same with the other side. I'm just gonna skip ahead a bit just to where I think I'm about to stop talking. I'll click play here just to make sure I line it up perfectly. There we go, command B. You'll, whatever keyboard you're using, if you hover over this, you can always just click this button, but depending on whether you're on PC or Chromebook or Mac, this command will be different. So I did command B, you can click this button to split it, and then I can just delete this last bit because this is just me you know, finishing up and then turning off the camera. So I'll delete that, and I have trimmed my video clip. And it's pretty much the same way if you want to delete something from the middle of your video clip, you just click the split button again or command B, and then you can, you know, whichever part, let's say I want this part all moved out, I can click the split button again, and I can click the delete icon, and now it's I've deleted something from the middle. Now let's get into changing the video settings of our video. So all we have to do is click on the clip that we want to adjust, and immediately we're on this video setting. Now here I can change the size using this knob to zoom in if I want to. I can also just grab these corners and increase the size. I can drag it around with my mouse. So this is useful if you wanna do a crop in on your video. I'm actually just gonna click the back button there just to go back to what we originally had. Um, you can also change the position by changing these knobs or the opacity if you wanna make it more transparent. You have all those options there. You can also change the background. So if I was to you know, shrink the size a little bit and I wanted it to be a white background, you know, I could do an effect like that, which would be pretty cool. Uh, you also have your audio settings here, so you can change your volume, fade in, fade out, noise reduction, as well as some voice effects. We then have the speed option. If you wanna speed it up, slow it down, do all those kinds of effects, you have those options here. And then you have also this animation feature. So if I want my video to come shaking in like that, I could have that in the beginning to, you know, maybe I, I wanna use that to, you know, increase engagement or something like that. But you can do that for the in, you can do that for the out, 
And then you can also do the combo, which usually means there's some continuous motion going on during your video. But um, those options are all there for adjusting your video settings. Now I want to direct your attention to the far left side as we're going to be going through each of these. So obviously we have the media section. There's the stock video section, which right now has some stock footage that you can add to your videos. We then have the audio section where we can add music to our videos. Now I will give you a warning here. A lot of the stuff in here is not copyright free, which means if you use it on YouTube or other platforms, you could get a copyright strike. The music could be taken down or your audio could be taken down. So I don't recommend using this. Now for my videos, I use Epidemic Sound. It's copyright free music. They have the best selection of music and sound effects that I can add to my videos, as well as the ability to make playlists so I can have different song selections depending on what kind of content I'm making. If you're interested, you can click the link down below and get a 30 day free trial. And any videos that you put out during that free trial period will be copyright free music. You're not gonna get claims after your free trial expires. So feel free to test it out, use it here in the CapCut app, but I'd recommend that route versus using the built-in music and getting copyright claims. Up next, we have the text section. So here we can add text to our videos by clicking the plus button. We can also drag that text effect around. We can extend it and decrease it. And then on the far right side, we have all our text settings that we can mess around with to make it look just right. Under that, we have the stickers section where we can add a sticker into our videos if we want. Uh, we can click add, we can resize it, we can move it off to the size. Uh, again, you can do whatever you want with uh, making how long you want it to go. And you can also add animations to this. So we could have this bounce in if we wanted to and do all that kind of stuff. Under that, we do have the effects section. So in here, you'll find a lot of cool effects that you can apply to your videos, whether it's cool color effects or like retro TV effects, different things like that are all in here. So definitely check this out. Under that, we have the transition section. Now this is very similar to the animation section. Normally you'd wanna add a transition if you have two or more videos uh, just next to each other, because then it'll transition from one to the other. Uh, but you can always click on the video, go to animation and do a different animation like that. And then under that, we have the filter section. So here we can actually apply filters to our video. So I could do something like this and click add. Um, and what you'll see is it adds it to the timeline. So I can actually grab either side and choose how long I want this filter to be applied. So I can do something like that. Um, I can also control the intensity so I can make adjustments like that if I don't want it to be as intense or if I want it to be more intense. I've got all those options there. But you can kind of move this around if you want it to be for the whole video or if you want to change the, the, the effect there. And then one last thing you might notice on the bottom here is this keyboard thing. If you click on this, it's actually going to show you all the shortcuts for using this. And I would recommend getting used to them because it's going to make you a faster editor. So definitely check that out. But once you are done, all you have to do is click this export button and we can click that and choose to save it to your computer and then you'll be able to upload it anywhere you want. Now I've put together this playlist which is extensive showing you many effects that you can do within CapCut so be sure to explore that out. It's just a little bit different because they're done on a phone versus the computer but you can do all the same effects. So check this playlist out to learn more about what you can do within CapCut.